Welcome back to another episode of Story in the Can. If you don't know what it is, there'll be a link in the description below and right above Richard's head explaining exactly what we're going to do and the processes involved. But if you do know what it is, let's make Story in the Can. So do you want to pick a location? Yeah, and I'll, I'll pick, pick an object if we just location. spread these out a little. Uh, I'm going to pick that one. So and are we, are we not telling the audience that we just tried and failed to do no, one? No, no, we didn't just try and fail to do one. Oh, okay, this is the first time. Yeah. Okay, so the location is a nightclub. So the location is a nightclub. The object is a steak knife. Ah, okay. get in. So... Oh, I've dropped one somewhere. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get that. Um, do you want to pick... I'll pick scenario, you pick character. So a knife club, a steak knife. Uh, the character is a single father. Okay, the character is a single father, and the scenario is the car won't start. Okay, this is yeah. Yeah, so we've got some bread and butter stuff. Yeah, we've got a location of a nightclub, an object of a steak knife, um, a character of a single father, and the scenario is the car won't start. So we're going to spend about a minute or two trying to think of a story idea. So. I'm thinking there's like, so he's at the he's at the nightclub, the single father, um, you know he's maybe he's just recently divorced as well, and oh no he, he's he's might his kids might be a little bit older and they're trying to get him like he wants to get back out on the scene. Yeah, and like try and meet someone. So he's like, well, I'll go to a nightclub. You know, he might have been with a couple of mates, and that you know they're trying to convince him to go out. But yeah. a murder happens. Something happens in the nightclub. Right. And he's he's got s some experience of dealing with these things. Maybe Is he he's a copper? Maybe. It might be. Yeah, so he's a, he says he's a police officer. So he tries to take the initiative and take charge. Um, but it's not just one person gets stabbed with a snake kni steak knife. Snake knife? Snake knife. We need to put that in. Yeah. Steak knife. Um, it's like... He gets caught up in like a gang war, like a club war type thing. Oh, so right. someone who owns the club, there's another group of people come in yep. to kind of yep. get him. Because everyone knows that anyone who owns a nightclub is a criminal. Yes, exactly. Um, and he kind of gets caught up in this, and he, you know, he's oh, trying. Like he, he rescues. He rescues like this woman who's yeah. like in the middle of it. Um, okay. Who just gets caught up in it, but she, he thinks she's just caught up in it, but she's actually. The the nightclub owner's son's girlfriend. I was going to say the nightclub's owner's girlfriend, but she's yeah. also in with this other gang, and that's how he gets <gasps> caught up in she's the. She's the crossfire she's between the, them. Yeah, and he saves her, but he car his car won't start as they're trying to get out of the nightclub, and uh, okay. eventually they get it started and get away. But it's this will just be like the start of this story of him trying to keep her safe, but she's actually so, the main problem. So he meets her. Mm -hmm. in the nightclub and it's all going well mm -hmm. and maybe she sort of instigates this problem and he doesn't know about this mm -hmm. we as an audience are probably watching her being a total B mm -hmm. and he's just he's just a lonely lonely single policeman mm -hmm. well maybe like he doesn't you don't see her at first you just okay. you just think and then it's like flashbacks and it's just like the yeah. story just unravels over time what's that one with Robert Downey Jr where's the gets thingy does the detective thing with Val Kilmer in it Kiss Kiss Bang Bang All right. you haven't watched that yet have you no. got you for Christmas it's still sealed Um, yeah so it's like this story of this lonely man trying to help this woman but she's really the problem and then yeah. you know kind of kind of like that I mean okay. it, that's just the beginning of a story that's good yeah no that's good but it's a good premise Um, it's and then he's maybe he's like he gets she gets in the car, he gets in, and then yeah. they get chased or something. Yeah, they get chased, take them to safety. It's the next morning when they wake up, and she's like, oh, thanks very much for saving. And she, she, maybe she wants to change her ways because he's like a family man, and she's all been all involved with his club life and everything and all of these gangsters and stuff. But yeah. she's property of maybe it's them, um, and then he tries to save her. So. Right. It's a simple story, but... Yeah, I like it. I, What's you, it called? Um... Uh, steak knife, something along those. Uh, steak club. Steak club. Yeah, maybe right at the start, him and all his pals go out for a steak at the start. Yeah. Weatherspoons, steak night, Thursdays at eight. 
Yeah, so maybe yeah, maybe they're all out there and they've decided to go to this club or stake. S- staking it out. Cause he's a detective. <laughs> yeah. That's the that's the super twist. He's the He was in it the whole time. Oh no. And they were trying to get her. Aye, because she's actually the owner. She's yeah. actually the owner. She's actually the boss. And that's like the twist. Because you're thinking that it's going to be some like old uh, she man. Yeah, she could be the boss, yeah. That she's would, the that's actual a nice boss. Twist. And now she's kind of getting away from it all and she's just like now in his house and, you know, she, he's looking after him. But she's actually really powerful. She just wants to get away. So what we've got is um, a character, the, the single father... Kind of goes to a nightclub because he's single and he kind of just wants to meet some new people. Um, but there's a crime that happens in the nightclub. Involving a steak involving knife. Involving a steak knife, but um, it's it's part of this gang gang war with the club. Um, but he's a policeman, so he tries to help. And he helps this woman who eventually we find out is the owner of the nightclub and is in a lot of trouble, but he's kind of keeping her safe. So there's a bit of conflict there because... He's a policeman, he should be doing the right thing. Yeah. Um, and obviously the car won't start when they're coming out of the nightclub. So we'll put that in. Quite a simple story, but I think you could you could build up two actually quite good characters because the woman is actually the the, the big boss person and he's and just no a, one knows. Yeah, and he's like a good police officer and it's just a conflict when he finds out does he turn her in, you know. Yeah, maybe off, he's he's been looking for the boss this whole time, but he yeah. doesn't know the boss is the woman that he's yeah. So that he's uh, drooling over. Yeah. So it's quite a simple idea, but I reckon you could you could probably get a, a feature out of that. Like Aye. I reckon you could. So what yeah. we're gonna do now is who who would who would be in it? Um, Mark Ruffalo. Ah, Mark Ruffalo and Sandra Bullock. No, most of all. No, I think Sandra Bullock could do it. Sandra Bullock, yeah. Yeah. You want someone in the sort of... They're both in the 40s. Yeah. Early... Yeah, yeah. Early 40s. So, and maybe that's that's the whole thing, is they're the only ones in the nightclub that are similar age. Yeah, that's true. So, we think Sandra Bullock can play the club owner and Mark Ruffalo could play the cop. So, if you're watching, let us know. So, what we're going to do now is change the genre of this. So, we're going to have the same four... Um, I like same for objects and a, lo- a location object character and scenario, but we're going to change the. So what genre is it at genre. the moment? It's like a crime. You could sort of crime. Thing. You could have a little bit of an action action. Action. Adventure, maybe so. it's a bit of a rom com ish, but just a, just a hint. Just a hint. Just a hint. Um, a rom com. So what we'll do now, we'll get Richard to pick out a. <laughs> okay. Just just. Let me... There we go. There we go. There's the one in your one. hand. Genre. So we're going so... to change the genre to. Hopefully it does change in the genre. Oh, it's now a disaster movie. The worst genre that ever exists. Disaster movies. So now we've got to think of how to change this to a disaster movie. Um, well, the I easiest mean, thing you could do is they get out of the car, the car doesn't start, and then it just a crater opens, and then they've got to drive away because the city's falling into the ground. Yeah, I mean, so it all the, the disaster all starts at the nightclub, you know, it's either a zombie. We so need what, to pick let's, what's, let's, what's a disaster. Yeah, let's think of disaster genre conventions. Right, we can have zombies. Zombies, a beam of light in the sky. Yeah, um, earthquakes. Um, tornadoes. Tornado. So a lot There's of an uh, asteroid coming. Act of God. Yeah. Essentially. Um, so let's just say the typical one: the an asteroid's going to hit the Earth, and no, let's not say that one. Let's say. We'll just go with zombies. Yes, yeah, screw it. Zo- so, zombies. So, single father is at the nightclub, um, but this is where the zombie outbreak happens, or someone comes to the club who's... Maybe it's the DJ. He's been to another country DJing the night before. Now he's in this country, and he just goes mental, and everyone's watching. Oh, uh, yeah. And his, yeah, his yeah, kind David of... David Guetta has picked something uh, up. And then all of his kind of crew has picked it up as well, and they start attacking yeah. everyone. So maybe the steak knife is something that he grabs. Yeah, because he's like, he's a single father, Depends he's at the bar, because you have like steak, well, it's... Yeah, he you know, picks to cut it up the, when they cut the limes in yeah, there. Yeah, when they cut the limes, so he, he you know, he, he could still be a police officer. He's, he picks it up, he tries to defend himself, um, may, maybe, like, someone falls on him, you know, that whole thing, someone else falls on him, the zombies get him and he just stays still and they don't realise he's still alive and then he crawls out. 
once like through all of these bodies like in, say an hour later yeah does he have the knife throughout the whole film yeah like that's the one thing yeah um so obviously he's crawling through you think he's safe but then he gets to his car car won't start um or he needs to steal a car and in the old some of the old films you used to stab a knife in the ignition turn the knife car turns on apparently that works that's how cars work yep um, so he gets the car started, and because he's a single father, he has to get to his children. Oh, yeah. That's his yeah. mission. That's, you that's all. You straight away, he's regretting, I shouldn't have went out of this nightclub. Yeah. The, maybe what maybe what maybe the hell's yeah, going on? The film starts off with his kids going, you know, he's, he's probably his teenagers, I think, and they'll be like, no, no, Dad, go out, enjoy yourself, because they might have a little party, but they're like, they're really looking out for him. And they push him out to go out, so he goes to this nightclub, you know, stuff like that, but he, now he just has to get home, so maybe he's say half an hour into the film he gets home they've been having a party and there's a lot of kids scared and things like that um and then it's just getting them to safety that's you know the typical zombie thing yeah um yeah well a disaster movie it's never going to be very good anyway so i think we've done quite yeah. well to be fair i would because it's it's all about one character it's kind of like world war z where it's about that one character yeah. and you're following brad pitt um very similar to that i mean brad pitt could star in this this could be World War Z too, but I suppose half the world's already disasters, isn't it? Disastered. Uh, that's not that's officially a word. Yeah. Okay, cool. That is story in the can for today. Um, we've come up with two different ideas and scenarios. I reckon the first one you could get a, yeah. a decent feature and script about that. So we've done a few of these now, and what I'd like to say is to the viewers watching, if there's another. Uh, alternative can that we can put in and make this a little bit different or if you've got ideas yeah. of how you would like to adapt story in a can for the next one mm -hmm. maybe doing like a theme or something you know we could do like a 90s theme or some sort of decade like sci-fi sci theme yeah, yeah that'd be good just something like that we'll and then we'll, we'll just try it out and see what tin. it's like yeah and if you've got any suggestions to maybe go in the tins let us know and we'll add them in um there, there's 20 suggestions in each currently um but you know the tins are only a quarter yeah. Waterfall, so yeah, we can we, add more. If we could eventually get a hundred in each one, like that'll be wicked. Yeah. So thanks for watching Storm in the Can this week and we'll see you in the next one.